live weather. And welcome back everyone. I know it's been really cold and snowy over the past couple of weeks, really since the 1st of January, a much more snowy period of weather than what we saw last fall. But you know what? We need the moisture and so far March has been really, really kind to Pueblo. Six inches of snow, not even a full week into the new month of the year. But look at this monthly average. We've already surpassed it and we're about 65% of average today being March 7th in Colorado Springs with 3.7 inches of snowfall to date. The almanac for today, it was a cold and somewhat unsettled day out there. Start to the work week, chilly with highs around 30 degrees below average in both the Springs and Pueblo. If you want some warmer weather, I've got a few notches of warming expected tomorrow and again on Wednesday, but still staying well below average for the next couple of afternoons and still tonight seeing a little bit of leftover moisture, some light snowfall extending east here towards Callahan, maybe some very light snow showers or flurries out there towards Ellicott and on the south side of town from Fort Carson down to Fountain. Most of the stronger Snow bands at this point have been down across the mountain regions, the eastern slopes of the sand grays extending back towards the Levita Pass. These spots could pick up another inch or two before it's all said and done. I think that wraps up mostly after midnight in the springs. The high today was just 22 and we are still at 21. That is because it's overcast with some snow flurries across parts of town. Not much wind, so the feels like temperature does match the actual air temperature. Pueblo, it's been snowing pretty good for the past couple of hours. Right now it's 24 degrees. 18 is the feels like temperature. Canyon City also getting a quick burst of snow on this Monday night. Really just some light accumulations. Haven't seen local storm reports in the area, but it looks like maybe a dusting to about a half an inch in town 21 degrees with humidity at 89%. Again, by sunrise tomorrow, we trade in the snowfall for sunshine, a good looking start, but a cold start to the day. And with that sunshine and a weak ridge of high pressure building into place, I think those highs are going to jump up around 15 degrees from what we saw today. But even with that healthy boost to your highs, we are still going to be about 15 degrees below average for this time of the year. So for the dog walk forecast, make it a quick walk early in the morning, even at 10, still near the freezing mark by around the middle of the afternoon, 38 degrees. That'll be quite a bit warmer than what we saw today. So dry weather and some warming expected over the next couple of days. Then we have our next polar plunge cold Canadian air. It's going to take a nose dive down into the central and southern Rockies with that Arctic air and another round of snow that could pick up as early as Wednesday afternoon. Some of the models keep that snow going through Thursday, even potentially into early Friday morning in some spots. Tonight's lows, they will be chilly once the clouds clear. A mix of single digits and teens across the News 5 viewing area and your highs tomorrow with the warm up. We're into the 40s around Pueblo and Canyon City. 35 in Monument, upper 40s expected Springfield to La Junta to Lamar. I'm calling for a high of around 38, 39 for the next two days in the Springs. Let's do a break out of Wednesday's forecast on the Super 7 day. We're dry early, but the snow showers are expected to pick up and there could be some impacts to that evening drive home. Thursday certainly worried about this day as we could see impacts to both the morning and evening drives cold with periods of snow and early estimate. I think the heavier snow amounts could be across western neighborhoods as, as much as three to six inches. Leftover cold Friday and then finally some warmer temperatures by the weekend. For Pueblo, temperatures dip before they rise. A high of just 20 on Thursday, clearing out but still cold Friday and then potentially returning to the 60s by Sunday. For Canyon City, we have 40s Tuesday to Wednesday with snow for the afternoon to evening hours. More snow showers Thursday and then temperatures building as we head into the weekend for Woodland Park. We drop down to 18 degrees and then rise back up to the 40s and 50s by the upcoming weekend. Eric. Alan, thank you. The Pueblo